Some research uh, looking at some of the earliest history at the University of Alabama is now available for you to see for yourself. Now this project looks at, what the, it looks at the history of enslaved people on the school's campus before the Civil War. Kelvin Reynolds spoke to one of the people involved in this research and joined us now live with more from Tuscaloosa. Kelvin? Hey, good morning to you, Mike and Janice. This information was compiled by researchers at the University of Alabama, and they identified at least 164 people who were slaves on campus. Uh, this is all the result of the UA Faculty Senate uh, having a resolution in 2018. Now, they requested that a commission be formed to uh, look at the uh, history of race, slavery, and civil rights at the University of Alabama. Uh, that led to the creation of a task force uh, that was interested of in the subject. It included faculty, staff, as well as some graduate students. Now, it looked at the historical documents related to slavery at the school. Now, the names of those enslaved people and some of their histories are compiled in one place for the very first time for people to be able to read and or study. I think it's really important to make this information available to the public because it's part of the history of both this institution, of Tuscaloosa, of West Alabama, and it's I think one of the really amazing things about it is to be able to have people um, out there in the world able to engage in it in all different kinds of ways. And Dr. Shaw went on to say that one of the reasons it's important to do this research was to make it as transparent as well as available as possible. Uh, that's why they compiled all of that information on one website. If you go to the WBRC News app, we have a link to that website, and you can see everything that they learned about the history of enslaved people at the University of Alabama for yourself. Live in Tuscaloosa, Kelvin Reynolds, WBRC. Fox 6 News on your side.